Today I'm going to show you how to do a pulsing map pin indicator. We'll draw the pin and we'll animate the pulse in the behavior designer. It's really quick, pretty easy, but it's a pretty impressive result. <laughs> Start by creating a big rectangle to serve as the background of your screen and give it a nice light yellow color. Lock that layer so you don't accidentally select it later. Next, draw an oval. Hold shift to make it a perfect circle. Then draw a rectangle. Make the rectangle exactly half the size of the circle. Then you can position it in the bottom right corner of that circle and you're starting to create a map pin that's rotated 45 degrees. Select the circle and duplicate it with Command D. Hold Option and Shift to resize from the center and then make it white. You might need to move it up on top of that rectangle layer. Select all these layers and put them in a group so that you can rotate them together 45 degrees to make the map pin be upright. Put the map pin in the center of the screen. Hold Command and Shift to select the circle and the rectangle that make up the body of that pin, and let's give them a nice red color. Now draw another circle and place it exactly in the center just below the map pin. Hold Shift and resize up from the bottom until that circle is zero by zero, meaning you can't see it anymore. Click the Behavior button to create a behavior around that invisible circle and make a new state. In the new state, select that circle, hold Option and Shift to resize proportionally up from the center and make that circle a bit bigger. I want it to fade out as it scales up, so I'm going to set the opacity down to zero. The animation is too fast, so let's choose Classic Easing. I'm going to choose this Ease Out preset and set the duration to one second. That looks better. Now, I'm going to right-click drag from the initial state to the new state to create a timer link. I'll set the timeout to zero, and I'm going to create a timer link going from the new state back to the initial state with a timeout of about 500 milliseconds. Choose the Skip Animation option before you click Done. Now if we look at the preview, you can see that it animates up, skips the animation going back, and then animates up again. So we have this looping, pulsing animation. Let's exit out of the Behavior Designer and let's give that pulse a better color. So I'm going to choose that circle and choose a nice blue color and set the opacity to about 50%. And I should move this behavior group below the map pin. So I'm going to drag it down in the layer list behind the map pin. Let's look at the preview once more. And that looks a lot nicer and it looks like everything's working correctly. But what's really going to make this a cool animation is that I'm going to rotate the behavior group around the X axis by 50 degrees. That's going to give it this really cool 3D perspective that really sells the illusion of a map pin on a surface. So that's how you do it. A looping, pulsing animation using the behavior designer with timer links and the skip animation option. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I'm trying to do one a week now, so let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next.